What's up guys, this is Kilo K TV and I'm your host Kilo K. Welcome back to the vlog guys. Explain to them what we're gonna do today. Man, we're gonna tear up some uh, burritos from Super Burrito here in San Rodino. It's gonna go down. Let, let me just show you guys. Look, look at this fucking burrito. Look, this is my, look, it's bigger than my four. Man, we got three different meats. We got uh, green pork, or chile verde, carne asada, and uh, shredded beef. We usually do the rice, beans, and uh, cheese and whatnot, but we took the rice out and decided to throw some fries in there instead. So today, we accepted the Super Burrito Challenge, guys, to see if we could finish it. I think I can, but I don't know about you guys. I don't know, man. I'm pretty hungry. I skipped breakfast, lunch, and I'll probably skip dinner. He skipped last week's meals, guys. <laughs> so, why, why do you like coming to this spot? You no, know, I've been coming here for years, man. And I mean, their food just has great taste. You know I mean, no doubt about it. Family owned. As they say, a little hole in the wall, but hole in the wall. Look, look at that. I want you to take the first line, man. Oh. I, I want you to tell me. Hey, that was up to a standard. I already feel, I already feel the, the clogged arteries, guys. <laughs> he said to bring a, um, a whole freaking box of aspirin. I got him in the car just in case. Mm. Wow. You guys want to talk about the time? Yeah. I stopped being picky. So, for you guys that have a Mexican moms, y'all know que nada se va a desperdicio. We are the desperdicio, dog. <laughs> so, this one time, my grandma came from the motherland, like y'all know. Straight, straight from the DF. Shout out to people from the DF. And, you know, she made some enchiladas. For you people that don't know what enchiladas are, they're like lightly greased tortillas, folded. Some, some, plate, some people fill them up with meat, or some people fill them up with cheese. You know, yeah, boy over here, I got him a cheese. And they come in layers. We throw lettuce, crema, you know, sour cream, queso fresco, and salsa verde. And in this case, my grandma put that onions. At this, at this point, you know, I'm like nine years old. My mom was the type of person that, it's not that she didn't care, that we didn't eat certain things because nowadays everything has vegetables guys everything that's supposed to be healthy has vegetables but you know my grandma said vamonos para la cebollita so she saw me you know eat my enchiladas and, but then she saw that I was apartando the, the, the cebolla I was putting the cebolla to the side and you know, my little, you know, fatty fatty, decided to eat all the unhealthy shit. This is the good shit. So when you acabe, right? I told my grandma, look, gracias grandma for the food. I'm done. me como que este güey está bien pendejo, me dice. ¿Y acabaste? Yo. Then she comes back at me with, ¿y eso que está en el plato qué? Pieces of, you know, queso, a little bit of um, lechuga, and a big uh, bolota of, of cebolla. Like, like, oh, but I must say so. Hey, wow. A ti se traga todo. Aquí no nada de que no me gusta eso, no me gusta el otro. Te lo va a tragar porque te lo va a tragar. I was like, no, en serio, I'm, I'm full. She goes. Me calienta haciendo tortilla, right? And I'm like, oh, she's gonna make me another enchilada, you know? Nah, it's just a tortilla, guys. She comes, she grabs the whole freaking bultote of like onion, and then she throws it in. She throws it in the tortilla, and then she folds it like it feels like a mini burrito. And she was fat, and she was packed. She goes, Ole, chingadero. I'm like, no. They'll come at you with the. No, estuvieras en México porque 
Allá los niños de Tijuana quieren eso y tú desperdiciando. I'm like, well, I don't live in Tijuana. What do you want me to do? She pretty much gave me this whole speech that she was like gonna disown me as her grandchild if I didn't eat that burrito of freaking cebolla, guys. I'm like, nah. So she tells my mom, right? And I'm like, era tu pinche chamaco. No quiere tragarse lo que le das. No estuvieras allá. Because, mind you, like my, my, my grandma came from like a poor family or whatever. So, everything you got was, that was food, you know, you gotta take it. Yo, grandma, come on. Estamos ya aquí en Estados Unidos. ¿A qué desperdicio no todo? Why not, se voy a que... ¿Qué le va a afectar? So, I don't know how the fuck my grandma wins. And she guilts my mom into a... No, si, sí, cómetelo. And I'm like, you never made me do it. Why are you doing it now? He goes, no, oh, órale, trágatelo. My grandma's like, no te vas a parar ahí hasta que te los acabes. Kid you not, two hours later. Pinche tote a toda pieza, full of onions, all soggy, like. You know, no me lo voy a acabar. Ah, no, como chingón no te lo vas a acabar. Literally, my grandma fights me, dude. She opened my mouth. It got to the point where I was sitting on the chair. That shit broke. Because she pressed that shit down and I had him. I fucking, I, I, I bit into the, the, the first bite. It was just fucking disgusting, guys. It was so fucking disgusting. And she goes, no, 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 no. I spit it out and she puts it right back in. That shit. Hopefully you don't have a nasty stomach. I can support a lot of this. I've been told I have a baby stomach, meaning I eat a lot. I eat fast, but yeah. I'm halfway there and I'm already pretty full. Let's keep going. <laughs> baby stomach and baby what else? Fingers. Fingers. <laughs> you guys want to see the progress real quick? Guys? Look. I want to say I'm about not even halfway full. I mean, you're halfway into the burrito. That's a pinch of no tell a lot. Anyway, I barfed the freaking enchilada that I had onto the freaking thing and she still tried to give it to me like that. I'm like, that's fucking some like. CPS kind of shit right there. Mm. Dude, I said I'm not gonna win this lady. Like that, just like that, guys, with a little bit of extra nastiness. Me lo tuve que chingar. Ever since then, guys, I, I was like, I just, I would just grab, bite, close, pinch my nose, drink some water. Y así para que no supiera nada. But ever since then, I stopped eating dicky, guys. I think because of that, that's why I'm Yenito, you know, it was everything had going. Update on the Subi, guys. Unfortunately, it's kind of like a tag thing. Have you guys seen one of my last videos? When I was preparing for the meet. I had to go to Mexico for an emergency. And therefore, when I had to leave, he had told me it was ready. Unfortunately, I had no one to pick it up. So then, when I came back, he told me that he was busy, you know, nothing or you know, just stuff happened. He was busy, he was gonna be out for a week. That week passed by, and, mind you guys, he has a full-time job. So, I'm, I'm just waiting on, on him, pretty much. Halfway, it's, it's a lot of meat in here. It is, guys, I wanna say this burrito weighs about, what, four pounds? It's pretty heavy. Four to five pounds. The challenge, I heard very, very few people have actually completed it. I think we're about to make miracles today, dude. Oh God, all the time, look. There has not been a time that I eat. Hey, but that's a good thing, right? As I know you're enjoying that. How are you feeling so far? We, I was ahead of you, but it looks like now I'm losing. It's cause you know, the, have you ever heard of the phrase guys? The turtle won the race. It's a very flavorful um, dish, guys. Like, like he did mention earlier, you actually taste everything. It's not like those meats that you get and are pretty bland. You just, you just eating the meat because it was in the freaking thing, and everything else gives you the flavor, but the meat. But the meat here is, you feel it. Look, look. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? You should have seen that portion right there that went through. Mm. Missed it. Let's rewind that real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a big guy. You all know. It takes forever to get uh, full. And I don't know, man. 
¿Y crees que nos vayan a derrotar este burrito? Oh, God, he's dying. If I, if I post this, one or two things either we live or I posted it from the ER room. Por eso que no me están down the street. Mamá, ¿qué es eso, Punani? ¿Árbitro, árbitro, cambio? Es Paul Lopez. I don't know. Pretty sure I can do it. Here's mine. Halfway. But I'm not giving up. You better not give up. We're working out. Those eyes are squinting, guys. Look, look, look. I think I'm ready for a nap. Are you guys doing it for school? What was that? Uh, for personal use. Yeah. Later on life, Basically. Mm -hmm. See, they, they even feel bad for me. They're like, <laughs> poor kid. <laughs> Child protective services on this one. Being Hispanic, I think uh, that's what made us who we are now. Our generation got aroused me for everything. Everything we did was wrong. So this freaking day as adults, my mom's like, what the fuck? And she still tries to be the shit out of me, like, mom, ya estoy grande. And she goes, entre más grande, más putazo te cago. I'm like, what the fuck? This generation of kids, guys, nowadays? Hmm. I don't know if I should say it all. <laughs> Everything is, like, against, against parenting. Is, is that what you gonna say? Yep, uh, parents can't beat their kids anymore without someone writing you out. <laughs> Back then you'd smack your kid in the store and the parents would be like, good job. Now it's like, they're calling everybody. <laughs> I think sour cream on my pants already. Is that really sour cream? You know what did it though? Those fries. Yeah. That, those fries freaking substituted the rice. Super windy out here in San Bernardino right now. It's crazy. So, like I said, yeah, he, we are in San Bernardino. We're prone to get shot right now. So we're trying to whisper it low, you know? But, he'll be okay. This with me. I'm from here. Born and raised in San Bernardino. If my lungs and heart could talk right now, <sighs> me lamentaran. Do it, man. Ah, I tried and I failed. Mm. <laughs> okay. So, I completed my end. I would say maybe close to three fourths right here. I was never good at fractions. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. So we'll simplify and say half. <laughs> yeah, let's go half. Because rounding, I don't know. Ah, but later. Hey, you know what? True story about me. I actually hate eating with plastic forks. Like if I eat a salad fries, yeah, I mean it's a lot of cheese, a lot of weight. I need a real fork. Aluminum. Ya casi le daba dos mordedazos y le dije, esta pinche carne está tough, pero es just this shit. This is a tiny fork for such a big burger. Have you not seen the consumer? I'm like, bro. Like I said, guys, this is called the bomb burrito. I'm here in San Bernardino. It's called the super burrito. Um, I highly recommend it. I would definitely give it uh, a 9 out of 10, guys. A lot of stuff happens on this car. <laughs> I love San Bernardino, but goddamn, sometimes it's. <laughs> don't, be, don't be surprised if you guys are in for a treat. You might see a car chase. <laughs> hey, that, that, oh. Nah, it's cool, man. This place is outdoors only, so. Uh, oh, yeah, as you guys can tell, it's an outdoors only, guys. You either eat here, enjoy the traffic, or take your ass home. <laughs> be prepared to come out on ABC7 News, guys. <laughs> or Eyewitness News. Oh, two shootings. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, I was. I don't know, I wasn't really that doubtful that I wasn't gonna finish it, but that's when I got it and I waited that show, I was like, ah, damn. I'm in for a heart attack. I think I will take that aspirin. Yeah. <laughs> My arms feel really kind of, left arms feel really kind of weird, but I don't know if it's because I'm freezing my ass off or. <laughs> the stroke's coming, guys. Come on down, man. Super burrito. San Bernardino. San Bernardino for all you know, you know. Anyway, guys, thank you guys. Subscribe to this guy. See? Subscribe to the channel guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm hoping I hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, video. It was kind of like a mukbang slash challenge. I'm considering more of a challenge because from what I heard, not a lot of people finish this shit. <laughs> Your boy did. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, like I said, we are already at 1,200 subs, guys. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Whew. Man, I really, really don't think I'm gonna be able to drive home right now. <laughs> 
I'll do, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, I won't be able to close this vlog out. All right, guys. So do what you love. Love what you do. It's the next one. Feel just like a rock star.